Uh oh. They cut me down to size. Shoot. Evil. Christ. Oh, he didn't even die either. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go collect this one. Very nice. Whew. Kind of a random, random thing to have a sandcastle with a letter puzzle in it. Oh, and we have to swim here. Darn. Very nice. Okay, let's leave. Whew. Okay, so there's a couple of areas we still need to check out. Do we dare go for that one man that is over there? I don't think so. It's probably not worth it or in our best interest considering I think uh, lives in this game don't carry over if you turn it off or switch game files or whatever, so. Alright, we're over here. Let's do it. Let's take him on. Alright, your name is Mr. Nipper. Nipper's Beach. Find nothing without Nipper's help. <laughs> uh oh. That's rude. <laughs> God, everything that comes out of her mouth is a straight up retort. Alright, here. There we go. That's how we're supposed to do it. God. I love the rat a tat rap. It's, it's just useful in an infinite number of ways. Alright, and death. Oh no! He sliced and diced our butts. That is. Oh, okay. You can do it twice then. Or was I just too close? <laughs> Because I feel like he wasn't even hurting me. So we were able to reduce him down to the size of a migraine, and... Ah, oh, the music. It's just... It's so good. Also, it sounds like there are enemies in here. Are there... Oh, more of these guys. <laughs> you guys are dead. Very nice. And there's a Jiggy. It's like, where did he go? Where did he leave us? gonna be a mystery for the world to solve and never find out all right so we have seven at this point and I just had this weird deja vu like the weirdest of me collecting that and then saying saying something along the lines of sorry to have to cut here but I'm going to oh what the but something happened or something I don't remember what I just got deja vu up that's so bizarre huh that is weird okay I apologize <laughs> it's just weird when it hits you at that at that instant. Now let's see what's in here. Just a couple of those. Very nice. Okay, actually, hold on. Hold the phone. There is a honeycomb down there. Okay, we'll get that in a minute. I think we just have a little bit of stuff to contend with here, so we'll collect these. While we're being chased by a crab. Oh, damn it. Okay, you know what? You don't get to attack me with your butt and then... Live to tell the tale, good sir. Okay. And, hold on, let's check down here. Ekumbokum, we will collect this Mubbo token. God, I love this. Ekumbokum. So good. This game really is a work of art. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I really like Conquer too, but I think this one might have to be my favorite rare game. It's just a wonder that I've never played this for the channel in all of my years. I mean, I wanted to do this one way back when I started, but I just was like, eh, because at the time, I guess it had just come out for the Xbox Live Arcade, so, and I'm playing on the Rare Replay version, so, and I feel like they did a pretty good job of optimizing it, all things considered. I don't remember the draw distance being that great, but anyway, oh, we've got a gamer pick, excellent. That is very good news, and there's a path down there. Okay, so we might be doing pretty good as far as time goes, I guess. I'm gonna take this life that we earned, because it's right there. Also, I think these bombs are called shrapnels, aren't they? <laughs> like, it's literally what it's called. And is there anything down here? I feel like there might be something good. Ah, there it is. Very nice. Okay. Now, unless I'm missing something obvious, uh, let's keep on going backwards, because we flew over all of this. And I didn't have much of a chance to explore, but I do recall this over here. So let's see. Let's go, ooh, just go flying, careening off every edge, shall we? Man, what do you have? What do you have, sir? We have mumbo tokens, but you can also attack me from the side, so there we go. There's only two of them in there. Always worth it. Oh mostly go out of my way to collect them and we just fall no big deal 
And I think that's it. I think that is all of them. Is it not? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we got them all. Very nice. I am wholeheartedly expecting to miss one or two or a section in future levels, so I, I've only... What the? Why did you dive? No, 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 don't eat me. Ugh, there we go. Oh my god, shark's greatest enemy apparently are wooden boxes, so thank god for that. Oh, that was so bizarre. If you're underwater, like, by a specific margin, then you'll just automatically start diving. Ah, and here we have it. The last Jinjo. Or Jiggy, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna do this happy ass dance inside of this dumb little cave. Because why the hell not? And we've done it. Alright. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Did I go too far? Because I think. Uh, it was over here. It was over here, wasn't it? Oh, no. I did go too far. Oh, no. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm just not good with the depth perception. Again. No! Damn it. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Truly appreciate it. And I think that's everything. I think that might be everything that we needed to get for this level. Wow, I'm semi-impressed with myself. Cool. Okay, we'll heal up, and we will leave for other adventures. So long, Destiny Island. It was, it was nice knowing you. We will leave you and never return. Well, maybe in the future. Which reminds me, I need to play a Kingdom Hearts game again soon, because it's been a little while since I've played something like that. Excuse me, sir. You were not invited to this jumping party. I don't know why you felt the need to include yourself. Also, this guy's like, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Just running at me with his hands wide open in the air. Excellent. And the jiggy that we earned. Very nice. Which makes our third one for the overworld. Gruntilda's Lair. Excellent. So we're done here. Welcome to Banjo-Kazooie, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Ellison Cruz, and... Ooh, let's go over here. Actually, I think this will be saved for much later. Uh, this will lead us to the final level of the game, or at least the portrait of such. Let's double check just in case. I can upgrade my memory a little bit. Yes, okay, so click clock wood. Whew, that level's gonna be a doozy. Especially because you can't duplicate saves, and everything literally saves every single time you play. So if I fuck up, then I fuck up. But if the recording fails, then that's just the game's fault. Also, Brentilda! Okay, Ugly Grunty's nickname was Hog Breath at Witch School. What? Rude. Like I said, self fulfilling prophecy much. I also know that freshly burst boils is her favorite. <laughs> oh, God. And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. Hmm, that's not too bad. Isn't gray spelled with an A, like the color gray? I always get confused between the two because I know the UK has like Earl Gray, like tea and stuff, but I don't know. That might just be a minor, minor cultural difference. But who knows? Because I know the name variation, at least I thought, was just the G R E Y. Okay, so that area up there is to where we need to go next. But first, we can open this door because we need another happy ass jig in our lives. Love it, love it. But this won't be until next time. Yeah, this will take us to uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp. Excuse me, sir. Oop. Oh god, he chest bumped me. Oh my god, this guy's tough. He doesn't go down. He doesn't go down very quick at all. Okay. Very nice. Oh. Oh. You will fail on that, I'll bet. Okay, whatever you say. We'll explore that place a little bit later. We can kind of trick it out to our liking, but yeah, we'll wait a bit. So we're heading back to this area because that shock jump pad that we saw earlier is now accessible to us. Very nice. And now, ah yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves how do I do all of them? I thought there was a button to do that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Press the right trigger. Beautiful. <sighs> we got ourselves. Clanker's Cavern. A lot of people kind of hate that level. 
and it's quite understandable. It does feature some very unforgiving tactics in completing it in a single go, but personally, I had a pretty good time doing that. I mean, I'll probably elaborate more as we get there, but I enjoyed it as a child, despite the fact that I was relatively uncomfortable around internal organs and things like that. So, I don't know. I don't know. Jump on that. Raise some sewage pipes. Sweet. It's good to know that the button is right there. And we'll make our way across with this very ominous, googly-eyed creature staring at us with his derpy teeth. <laughs> and we can enter here, but first... It's another switch. It seems like a really arbitrary place to put a sewage drain, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> God, I love this. I love this overworld so much. This really should have been at the top. But of course, I'm just saying that because I'm playing it right now. If we go up here, I don't think we need to do this, but hey! Red Tilda once again. Alright, Grunty wears a flea circus under that repulsive... Oh, God. That doesn't sound very sanitary. Why would she do that? Also, whoops, I meant to press X. Apparently, I don't know where my buttons are. She's also going to have to pet dog. Oh, Ripper! Holy smokes! That kind of sounds like a badass dog. Why didn't she sick that son of a bitch on us? Hey? Uh-oh. Judy's fate is looking grim. <laughs> Rude. God damn it, I can't help it that I was born in the woods. And my sister sings in her own band. Oh my god. Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. <laughs> that might be literally the greatest thing that I've heard all day. Grunty singing in this like pop, not even pop, just like this, this old school punk band and oh geez, that is kind of amazing actually. <laughs> I want to hear this band. They're probably extremely underrated. They probably, oh my god, blew some minds back in the 80s. God, the precursor to Joan Jett right there. <laughs> oh god, this kind of reminds me of a uh, like an inside joke at work. Oh, and the Bubble Gloop Swamp Portrait. Nice. We'll go and do this. Um, so basically, there's like this running gag at work that because I have large-ish feet that seem disproportional to the size of my body, it must obviously mean that I have a big dick. And it's just kind of a joke that because me and my brother are in a band, that if we ever broke up, I would go and start a really successful solo career. And I would, I would call myself... Um, Mr. Big Shoes and the shoelaces, and the shoelaces would be like all of these thin girls that would be my backup singers, and so, yeah, it would basically be like the Jack White solo project, just <laughs> Mr. Big Shoes and the shoelaces, that would be me. <laughs> the stupid inside joke that nobody will understand. Oh, but you guys, we've made it to Clanker's Cavern, and... I think we're going to tackle that in the next part. I don't know what I've recorded today since I just started this project, but let's hope it turned out, shall we? My name is Allison Cruz, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys next time for more Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, that feels very satisfying to say, and I like it a lot. I hope you guys do too. I'll see you guys next time.